Good morning, Hawks. Today is May 25th of 2021. I'm Kai. I'm Ymir. And I'm Logan, and this is the Hawk News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have the choice of cheese quesadilla, chicken and pepper jack quesadilla, pizza cheese personal pan, pizza personal pepperoni pan, or a taco salad with beef. With sides of charro beans, Mexi corn, blueberry whip perfect, and fresh fruit. Now to Mr. Gamble for the rest of the announcements. Good morning, Hawks. Here we are, Tuesday the 25th of May. Love the alliteration, Tuesday the 25th. And rolling through the week, eighth graders, you have science, uh, FSA today, and seventh graders, you're doing the civics. Just like any test, read each caref question carefully. Think back what you've been taught all year long, actually your whole school career. That will help you answer the questions and do fine. Whatever you do, please, please take your time. Answer each question carefully. Don't get bored in this bubble in nonsense, all right? It's important for you to do well, as always. Rolling through the school year. Remember, uh, it's Memorial Day weekend coming up. We'll have more on that later on. And I know students, eighth graders, are very excited because we put out word of having a social coming up uh, next month. And plans are in the works. Yes, they are underway. We don't want anything to derail this, and we'll be talking with the high schools, making sure they didn't have any coronavirus outbreaks after their proms. I know Buholtz had a prom this past weekend, so I'll be talking with the Buholtz principal here in a day or so, make sure everything's cool with that. So we are making the plans. Here's what I heard today. Mr. Gamble, is it true there's going to be like a hotel party after the social? I, what? Yeah, no way. Not now, not ever. No, there's no such thing as a social after party, all right? The social is the get together, and that's it. When the social is over, you should get picked up by your parents. Where you go from there, fine, but no, 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 no. And again, we strongly discourage anyone from being around a large crowd in a small confined space. All right, we'll be at the Cade Museum for our social. They have an outside area too, and you know, we'll be doing as much distancing as we can. But again, being in a small room, not a good idea. Right, so again, uh, I know word's gone out, and they'll be have, there are, of course, criteria for attending the social. Make sure you know those criteria. A biggie is like, get your grades up and stay out of trouble, because if you're acting a fool at school, we do not want you at the social. Pretty easy, right? Today's, well, animal, even though it's uh, not an insect, it's an arachnid. This is a spider from Mr. Bailey's first period class. Most people call these banana spiders. I've always known them as, oh, well, also known them as uh, golden orb spiders or uh, golden eve or golden spider. So everybody calls them banana spiders. Why? Because they got the colors of a banana. So sometimes you just can't uh, stop, you know, popular opinion, which is to call them a banana spider. So that's what they're kind of known. These are actually the, the the female banana spider that you might be familiar with, well, that you probably have seen, because they make great big webs. They're like six feet in diameter, huge. And if you ever walked around the woods, you probably <laughs> walked into one. Here's a smart thing my dad taught me a long time ago. If you're walking through the woods, put a hand up in front of you like this when you're walking around. So the spider web gets on your hand and arm, not all over your face. Also, I learned something today about these, and these uh, spiders are what they call sexually dimorphic. That means the male and the female look so different, you wouldn't guess they're from the same species, okay? So sexually dimorphic, so they're different. So whenever you see uh, big ones like this here that are, that are large, it's always the female, okay? Not the guys. All right then, remember, let's be kind always. You know, don't throw things at people if they say something silly. Uh, be kind with your words as well, the teasing, taunting, things like that. Makes us the kind of school we want to be at. Listen to and follow all directions from adults. No one asks you to do anything unreasonable. Finally, give someone a compliment during the day. When you receive a compliment, look that person in the eye, say thank you. It's quite easy to do. Let's have a terrific Tuesday, Hawks. Do all your tests. Thank you. Have a great day.
Go Hawks!